Hi, it's Dalton, and I lied in the last video. That wasn't going to be my last one, as you saw, but I'm still here with TCG Buzz. You know me and Jacob still have our little differences, and I have red eye now. No, I'm joking. I don't have red eye. It's just a little card here. But we're, I'm here bringing you the second part to the Card Wars unboxing for Lemon Grab's deck here. Let's get this started. Hopefully I won't have as much trouble trying to open it up as I did with Gunter's. Oh, starting off a little bit better. Use your muscle. Come on. Use your muscle. There we go. I did it. I did it, guys. It's okay. It's okay. We start off with Old Corn Eye. Two active points and plus one defense for each different landscape type you control. Hmm. Only one. Okay. Fancy Zebra Corn. Plus one defense for each different landscape type you control. Okay. Rebounding Zebra Corn. All right. I see that ball up real quick. I see you. I see you. Plus one attack for each different landscape you control. All right. I see you. I see you. Oh, we have another one of these cards. All right. Bouncing Zebra Corn. Let's see what it says. Just another code. I mean, I'll keep that for myself. Can't let y'all get that on me. You know, I got to keep it for myself. Mantle Masher. I feel like we're talking about beer, but he's breaking mountains. When he enters play, flip a landscape in your lane face down. And when he leaves, flip it face up. Okay, interesting. A very interesting playstyle. Rock and roller. When he enters play, flip a landscape in this lane face down. And then when it leaves, flip it up. Oh, I see. It's going to be a little bit of a douches about how you play. Like, you're never going to have them get up on you. Quake Maker, plus two for each face down landscape in play. Okay. Earth Mover. Plus two for each one face down. Rock out! Flip target landscape face down until the start of your next turn. All right, all right. Amazing avalanche. Each of your creatures has plus one attack for this turn for each face down landscape in play. Okay. Sinkhole. I, I see what they did there. There's a sink, it's a hole, and it's creative. Discard a card, floop. Flip target landscape in this lane face down until the start of your next turn. Okay. Silo of Freedom. Discard a card. Your, lands your landscape in this lane loses its type and becomes the type of your choice except face down until the start of your next turn. Hmm. I wonder how well that would actually work. Caramel Camel. Must suck being out in the desert, getting all that sand on you. <sighs> when a creature in your own creature you own leaves. Wow, I read that so wrong, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, own leaves. Play. You may put it underneath this card instead. Plus one attack and plus one defense for each card under this card. Hmm. When this card leaves play, discard all cards under it. Okay, it's kind of like a weird way to have Soul Guard. Interesting. Sacopian? So so Scorpion? Scorpion? I don't, I don't know. It, it's a lot easier than what it need, than I'm making it. Costs one less to play while an opponent controls a creature you own. Hmm. I see why it works so well. Sand Magus. At the start of your turn, you may return Sand Magus to its owner's hand. If you do, each other creature you control gets plus one attack for this turn. Oh, we got Grand Mummy. At the start of your turn, you may return Grand Mummy to its owner's hand. If you do, draw two. Oh, Grand Mummy, so cute. Sandor's Rex. Plus two for each of your empty landscapes. 
Hmm. Interesting. Static Paratrooper. When it enters play, move it to an empty landscape. It cannot be replaced. At the start of your turn, deal one damage to your hero. Hmm, I see. I see. Very interesting. Jinx Paratrooper. When it enters play, move it to an empty landscape. It cannot be replaced at the start of your turn. Discard a card. All right. Ooh. Got into the big boys here. Husky Bear Trooper. When it enters play, move it to an empty landscape, and then flip that landscape face down. There we go. There we go. Dragoon Bear Trooper. When it enters, move it to an empty landscape. It cannot be replaced. The adjacent creatures have minus one attack. All right. Got the drop zone spell. Return a target creature you own to your hand. All right. Quick, pick me up. Return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Gain actions equal to its cost. Oh, I see. Let's see. Parrot military outpost. Each creature in this lane has minus one attack. Minimum of zero. I was looking for that heal for my opponents. Dang it. Launch pad. Floop. Draw a card for each creature that entered play onto this landscape this turn. Hmm. TN Timmy. When he leaves play, deal one damage to each opposing creature. All right. Self-destruct. Hamfist. Target creature you control has minus five attack this turn. Draw a card. And free fall. Each of your creatures gets plus one attack for this turn for each creature that entered play this turn. Nice. Nice. I kind of like this deck, but I'm, I really like Gunter more. But, you know, that's just how it is and how it's going to be. Because Gunter's awesome. You can't deny that. Gunter is awesome. Can't drop anything. I did. Can't lose any cards. So, guys, if you like this little unboxing of this deck here, it's gonna be pretty. It's pretty cool. I really think people should get into it just for fun. It's not something to be super competitive about. It's just for fun. I like it. Some of my friends like it. I'm gonna try to get some more of them into it. So leave a like for Adventure Time, because you know that's what time it is. And make sure to leave a comment. Tell us what you want us to unbox next, or if you want us to do deck profiles of decks you like. In the meantime, guys, remember, stay classy. See ya.